Excel SB. The format of Excel SB is B means binary. Uh, binary can be used, you know, where in the bigger organizations to save the file. B means binary. Let me explain it. The advantage of this format is it can store entire large data and it can reduce the sign. The advantage of this is this uh, file type is it saves the it reduces the file size. Don't worry, we can have a demonstration. I have taken one blank Excel file. Now let me share this blank Excel file with you all. I have just taken one blank Excel file. Let me take this blank Excel file with you all. Now let me zoom in. Now let's say for 10 columns. Before that, let me save my existing file because it is stuck up. Now let me come back to my before. Now let me go down till the last row. I'm writing a small formula rand between. I think it may stuck up. So I want to just go till A1 lakh. Generally, if you want to go to A1 lakh, you generally scroll down. What I do, I'll simply type here so that it will take me here. So let me select this 26 columns. Let me write a formula rand between 100 to let me give some bigger number. See, this formula is applying for 1 lakh into 26, 26 lakhs. Less than two seconds it has applied. You can just copy paste special values. You need not understand what I'm doing. These are all functions you can see later. My only point is how much it does. File size your dot .xlsp will reduce. Let me put the comma format. Zero decimals. Zero decimals. Let me change the background color. Generally, you know, the colors, uh, the, the fonts, uh, different styles, uh, Increase your font size. Let me change the color of my, this looks very odd. I know that. So let me keep this if possible or else let me go for something little thicker. Let me have the border. Do you know how much size it's gonna occupy at the back end? I'm sure very big size. Let me put bold and let me have italic. And let me change whatever the font you want. Okay, let this be the font, okay? So what I'll be doing, I'll save this file, F12, <coughs> in the day one, uh, saving as, let me put the name of this file, XLSX, so that you can see how much uh, file size if I save it to XLSX, save this. I'm just trying to save. Now let me, I think I have saved the same file. Now let me show you in the Dropbox in my folder what is the file size. To know the file size, go to the details. Oops, yeah, this file size is 22 MB. If you check it out here, I'm sure this is visible for everyone. 22 MB is the file size. Now what I'll do, I'll open the same file. Let me open the same file. Now I'll save this file as. So let me share this window again. I'll save this file as F12, saving as Excel BSB. So where is the Excel SB format? Yeah, this is the binary work. Let me save. Okay. So don't worry. Let me close this file very clearly. Let me put into the icons. First, let me show you the icons. Friends, your binary file icon is like this. There's a small difference with respect to the grid lines inside. This is having a vertical grid lines. This is having only three columns. Some different uh, identification is there. Now, if you want to see the size, uh, this is having a size of 22 MB. I did nothing. I just opened the file and stored this is into 15.5 MB. So almost like 7 MB, that means 30% of file size got reduced. So as I told you earlier, this uh, file extension people use it, this file type people use it to reduce the file size, especially in the ERPs, 
when they want to download the sales data or the all the entries data that by default .xlsp format okay. so once we download into xlsp then you can open the file and you can do whatever you want for your information binary files can even have the macros inside okay this is about the file type